Yo, what is going on guys? It's Lady Yo and welcome to So Serious Gaming. And today I'm going to be bringing you a build that's not a six piece classified. I know, right? Who would have thought that you could get away with going in the DZ without going full six piece classified? But you can. Now, before anybody in chat says, oh, this build's weak, my Pred would destroy it, my Strikers would destroy it, blah, blah, whatever. I, I, I really couldn't care what you've got to say, to be honest with you. I use this build, I beat Strikers, I beat Pred, I beat Nomad. You know, I'm not saying that this build is better than those. I'm not saying that Classifieds aren't stronger. What I'm simply saying is that the build is still viable and the burst damage kind of renders the healing from strikers and nomad useless and makes predators mark builds a lot less tanky because of the the high base damage the really high crit chance and the high crit damage so yeah save it because we we, we, we really don't care so anyway we'll get into the build right now guys so as you can see it's a ninja bike build now I will say this before I get into it, they need to buff the exotic stats so that they come in line with classified gear. I don't understand why these have the same kind of drop rates as classified gear but they have the lower stats. It just doesn't make sense to me. So the exotics need to be brought to be in line with the classified gear so that they feel as valuable as the classified gear if you catch my drift. And perhaps even let us roll the two attributes like we can with the classified gear as well. So, I mean, aside from that, you are still running full classified, basically. You know, you're still getting the same stats, the same kind of numbers that you would get if you was to run full classified. Now, before anybody says to me, why are you using a ninja bike with a classified build? Because ninja bike doesn't work with classified build. Yes, it does. If you actually read the description properly, it says, if you can see here, look. The two and three piece bonus is active. It will work up until the four piece bonus. Ninja Bike only stops working when it comes to set bonus five and six. So it does work. So again, please save those comments. <laughs> so yeah, I'm running two Banshee, two Bread, two two Bread, two Pred, and Final Measure. Now, I used to run this in 1.7, obviously not with the classified pieces, but I used to run it with Tactician, because obviously Hybrid was king then. Whereas now it's kind of more stamina or firepower that, that kind of reigns supreme. So I'm running Final Measure with this. Now the reason I'm running Final Measure is because, as it stands as of right now, Exotic Damage Resilience is the best way to somewhat counter the Predmark Bleed. Now, I'm not going to turn around and say that this is going to be a completely hard counter and Predmark is completely nullified and useless against you. No, it's not. It still hurts like hell, but it doesn't do as much damage. You know, it may give you those extra couple of seconds you need in order to get that med kit ready so you can cleanse that bleed again, you know? It is not going to completely nullify it, but it is going to give you some kind of fight back against that bleed damage so it is still super handy to spec into EDR you could even spec into it more than I have and change some of the uh, the stamina mods around and stuff but we'll get to that in a little bit right now let's take a look at the gun so as you can see I am using the house now as I said in my previous build video you do not need the house the house is strong, the house is very strong, the house is a really good gun and it's a really fun gun to use and the main reason I use it is because it's new. It's a gun that I haven't used before because it wasn't in the game so that's the main reason I use it. However, I don't have one here at the moment, they're in my stash, rip. But you can go with the AUG. Now the AUG has a slightly lower f um, rate of fire, however it does have a higher base damage than the house so it's gonna hit harder and you can obviously you know you don't have the last talent so you could put uh, responsive deadly and fierce which will give you even more burst damage 
obviously with the house I don't need to worry too much because when the card counter talent kicks in I'm getting a huge damage buff and the person on the receiving end is just getting smelted. So it is obviously been optimized not fully so the base damage can go higher well will go higher once I optimize the gun a little bit more and of course the gear as well but we have a 23% crit chance which I believe is the highest the crit chance will go 22k flat base damage and again that's without the card counter talent active so when card counter activates the base damage will skyrocket up now run it with predatory like I said in my previous video this came with predatory and a dead talent rolled on it so I rolled deadly however you know you gotta think now we don't have hybrid builds we don't have heals every 10 seconds and you know popping a heal and getting three quarters of our health health back from one heal we don't get that no more so things like predatory and self-preserved are super duper handy because they give you some kind of healing that you know your lack of skill haste and lack of skill power doesn't give you and 35% health over 20 seconds is a good chunk and then I went with deadly on it because I have such a high base damage anyway I, I felt like I didn't need responsive plus at the time I was doing this with my predmark build so I went with deadly to make my crits do a hell of a lot of damage and honestly you won't it doesn't really matter the, the, dam the damage is already high enough anyway so just get those crits putting out more damage and the mods we run are uh, mag size, crit chance and rate of fire and then we have the optic which is crit damage, headshot damage and crit chance. The muzzle is crit damage, crit chance, headshot damage and the underbarrel is crit damage, accuracy, reload speed. Now if you didn't mind having a little bit less crit chance, because I'm already over 50% crit chance anyway, so if you didn't mind having a little bit less you could change the mag and go with crit damage instead. But I, I, the way I see it is 50% is the good mark because it's around half your shots are going to be crits. So, you know, that for me is, is about right. And then everything else, the, the top stat is crit damage to make those crits do as much damage as possible. And the secondary, we are using the Elvora. Now, this I don't necessarily stick with. I kind of switch it around between the Bullfrog, Showstopper, Warlord. It depends what I feel like using secondary, but 9 times out of 10, this secondary gun is just used for clearing NPCs so that I can preserve the ammo in my house for PvP. But what I'm running at the moment with it is the Elvora with 19.4k base damage, 23% enemy armor damage. It's vicious, deadly, and competent. Competent was in the last slot. Now, you know, with my skill power being super low, like I say, this gun, it does it only gets used with NPCs, so I'm not too fussed about it. But, you know, when I use my heal or my, my immune box for a heal or whatever, you know, it's going to give me a bit more base damage and just help me shred through those NPCs a little bit quicker. But sometimes I'll use the house, you know. I'll use the house, mow down an, MB, an NPC, activate predatory, and then I'll go fighting, you know, go to go shoot the player. Um, so on to my Banshee chest piece. Armor rolls nice. I've um, I've managed to optimize these pieces at least a little bit. So as you can see, it's rolled for firearms, health, exotic damage resilience in order to go with the exotic damage resilience that I get with my final measure knee pads. And of course, ammo capacity. Minor attributes always wants to be ammo capacity on your vest and your backpack because you need ammo, trust me. You burn through it so quick, the more ammo you carry with you, the better. And the uh, the mods are both stamina mods with crit chance. All the mods I'm wearing are the 266 stamina mods with crit chance that you were able to buy a couple of weeks ago at one of the vendors. Um, like I said earlier though, you don't need to go with crit chance on these if you don't want to. You could spec more exotic damage resilience, you could you could put more health on, you know, there's a number of things you can do, but I wanted this to be all about crits, all about damage. 477k toughness is, you know, relatively tanky anyway, so I'm not too fussed about that. Mm -hmm. Then on the Pred Mark Mask again, it's firearms, it's well to crit chance. Um it's disorient resist on the minor attribute but if you can you ideally want to go with bleed resistance or shock resistance or burn resistance over that ideally but it's not a major deal and again like I say stamina mod with crit chance 
The final measure knee pads are also roll to firearms with crit hit damage. And again, the mod is a stamina mod with crit chance. And I run a first aid self heal mod as well. My heal absolutely sucks, but I'm you know I'm using the immune box to help clear any bleeds as a as a extra heal, and obviously I have my heal as well, so it just helps out that little bit with it. The Predmark holster is rolled for crit chance. Everything is is focused around crits with this build. It is basically about putting out damage and crit chance, crit damage. It's just it's a damage build. That's what I've I've gone for with this. And again, it's just a self heal mod. The gloves are rolled for stamina, the Banshee gloves, with SMG damage, crit hit damage, crit chance. Again, with this build being focused around being kind of somewhat tanky and putting out as much damage as possible, I wanted to go for my primary weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage. So if you want to use an assault rifle, just change SMG damage to AR damage, or if you want to go with a shotgun, change it to shotgun damage. Just make sure you're going with crit chance and crit damage to ensure you're putting out as much damage as possible with whatever weapon you go with. Again, as you can see, I need to do a bit more optimizing because I believe the max crit damage is 18% on gloves. I may have misremembered that, but I'm sure it is. And then onto the ninja bike, which is rolled for stamina, crit hit damage, and unfortunately with this, I don't have ammo capacity. However, I do think I picked up a ninja bike the other day that I could change to, I think it had ammo capacity on, so I think I can change that out. Change this out for that one, which will give me more ammo and allow me to stay in the fights longer. And again, we have the stamina mod with crit chance and uh, two first aid self heal mods. So yeah, that's pretty much the build guys. We'll show you the stats real quick. So as you can see, um, 21,988 base damage on the house with 50.5% crit hit chance and 132% crit hit damage with 61% headshot damage. I apologize if my microphone just picked up that motorbike going past. I live next to a main road, so sometimes that noise cannot be avoided, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, as you can see, if you go to like skill haste, it's non-existent. Um, my max health is 321,000, so you know 35% of that over 20 seconds each time I get a kill is pretty handy. Uh, exotic damage resilience is 36%, again you can go for more, you can get that higher, there's other places you can roll EDR if you want it, you've got your mods you can put it on, things like that. But I found that this was helping me out just enough. Um, yeah. So, onto the talents that I run this with. Now, because I'm using, obviously, my self-heal and my immune box and my med kits, I use all three in order for, you know, heal myself, and I basically rotate between the three as I need to. And it seems to work out pretty well for me. I use critical save, so when I use a med kit during low health, I get damage, uh, damage resistance increased by 20% for 10 seconds. It's a huge deal. It really does help. Strike back, reach low health to reduce active skill cooldowns by 20%. Again, that is a, a big deal. You know, every time you hit that last segment of health, you get a 20% reduction on your cooldown. So if I have, if both my skills are on cooldown and I have med kits, I hit low health, I pop my med kit. If I hit low health again, that's another 20%. So that's 40% in an instant that it's just cooled down by. So it's really helpful and it does genuinely, genuinely save my life in so many sticky situations. And then I use precision because I'm not using a pulse, If I'm, especially if I'm running solo. If I'm running in a team and there's a pulse, I will switch that out and I'll go combat medic so that my teammates can get my uh, get my heal when I use a med kit. So when I'm solo, I'll use precision, headshot a hostile to pulse them for 10 seconds. It's only like a mini pulse. It's only like a, a 5 or a 10% increase to your crit chance and crit damage, but it is super helpful. And then, of course, on the move, Kill a hostile while moving to reduce incoming damage by 15% for 10 seconds. Super handy, super helpful, and you know if you get caught in that situation where you've maybe had to pop a med kit, pop your booster shot, then you've got you know on the move active, critical save active, and booster shot active. So that's three sets of damage resistance, which will help make you super tanky and give you the opportunity to turn and just hose somebody down. 
I love it, man. It's, it's a great build. Like mm. I say, I'm not saying that this is the absolute best build out there, that this is top tier of uh, any of the classified sets or any of that. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying the build is viable, the build is fun, and it's also very, very, very versatile as well. If you wanted to go with the hybrid, the old school hybrid method, a bit more skill power, 40 to 50% um, skill haste, then you can switch that out for uh, for tactician. But that idea, in all honesty, will be better following the global event coming up because that's when the tactician classified is released. So that idea will be better then than it is now. But there's there's various ways you can take this. But for me, it was all about damage and sort of having some kind of tankiness and just having that that crazy burst damage. So. I am now going to shut the hell up, I'm going to switch it to some gameplay for you guys, give you a couple of clips, just let you see the build in action, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you liked the build, comment below, let me know what you think, hit the like button if you enjoyed it, if you liked the build, if you found it helpful, whatever, I'll just hit like just for the sake of it, you know, I'll, I'll take that one too. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. Catch more build videos, occasional gameplays, live streams, all that good stuff. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in another video. bye de bye Agent down.